Choose your fighter. Fight. Fight. What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Stay a while. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm super excited because I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails. But before I get started, I definitely want to point out the fact that in the description box below, I have listed tons of different resources, Instagram accounts, movies, books, things that you can check out. Um, to support the Black Lives Matter movement. Please make sure to check those things out. You can do something as simple as sending a text. There's a lot that we can do, especially if you don't have a ton of money to donate or um, feel comfortable protesting. So be sure to check those out. So with that, I just want you guys all to know that I love you and I'm praying for you. And I hope this video is helpful. So as you can see, I have an entire folder dedicated to my thumbnails and transitions. So first I'm going to show you how I do a transition. So um, I first go to Canva and I import a picture which I think is already going to be up here. Yeah. So I'll show you what I did though. So if you go to Canva and search and do a YouTube thumbnail, it'll already give you the dimensions that you need to fit. Um, and that's just like what I find the easiest. So don't look at... <laughs> Those are my pictures for the thumbnail. So I have like the yellow square and it fits. So what I'm gonna do is save that. And then I'm gonna go into Fonto, which is a good app for fonts. You can download fonts that you find online um, and import them into Fonto. And that's how I found, like the one that I really like to use is Keep On Truckin'. It's like the groovy style one. So I'm gonna go into photo albums, recent, grab that photo. And then you just click anywhere on the image to add text. And I'm just gonna do how I make my transitions. But I don't want it to be that font. So I'm gonna hit font, go here. Um, so I like to use, like I said, the keep on trucking and I also use Arial Bold Italic. So I'm gonna hit done. And then I'm gonna move this over. So I really like to that outline effect. So if I wanna do that, what I'll do is like style this and I'll probably, I don't know, let's make it like, let's make it light pink. And then I'll double it. So you go over here and you hit the duplicate. And then I'll pick like a, um, a color for that. Let's say it's this. I don't know how it doesn't look like. Well, it actually doesn't look that bad. So let's just say let's do that so then i'm gonna save that to my camera roll and i'm gonna open up pixar app Ooh, there's my channel trailer one um i'm going to pop that in there and then i'm gonna add some stars so i go to sticker and then I usually do like stars aesthetic and I always, almost always pick these silver ones. So what I'm gonna do now is like throw these in here, hit that little duplicate button up there to make another one. Then you gotta go in with your eraser and make sure that you can like read the words and get rid of like any other unnecessary stars. And the annoying thing about this though is that you have to go like buy item like I'm like trying to erase that star that's over the M and it's not in that box it's in this box and it's just like confusing sometimes so make sure to get rid of all of those and then I'm gonna kind of like adjust from there actually I'm gonna twist so then what I'm gonna do is apply that so that's what it ends up looking like and I'm gonna next and save it download photo then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna switch up the like where these stars are. So I'm gonna hit the back button, don't save, go back into that one, do the exact same thing, sticker, stars, do the silver ones again, or you can even change up the color if you wanna make it that different. And then you're just gonna like put the stars in different spots. Apply, next, save, download photo to device. And then I'm gonna show you like what that looks like. So then when I go into my editor, which is Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm gonna put these pictures next to each other and go like this. 
hit them just copy paste copy paste copy paste so that they move and that's how you like get them to move at least that's how i do it so those are my transitions so next i'm going to show you how i made the thumbnail for this video and basically how i do them for everyone because i try to keep a theme going so what we're going to do is look at these super embarrassing pictures that i just took for my thumbnail and we're going to pick one so i think i like that one's okay i guess so we're going to go over to my presets and i just have like a bunch saved in here um i'll link where i bought the presets down below i'll do seven but i need to bring the contrast down so then these are obviously awesome but you gotta like you gotta adjust because every picture you know comes out a little bit different so So then I'm gonna save that to my camera roll. And then I use Snapseed to do like what just popped up. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you really, really quick. But so the way that you make like a solid background is you go to tools and double exposure down here in the bottom left. And then you add picture and then you pick like, I'm gonna do this pink here. And then you hit in the bottom middle, these like folder things, you hit darken, turn the opacity all the way up. And then you do, I actually have a video on how I do this. I'm just gonna link right here. Um, Cause it's kind of hard to explain, but view edits, double exposure, you hit the brush. And then you just basically color everything that you want to be that second photo. This is how I add like really cool skies in the background of pictures. Um, this is how I edited like a liquid IV photo I did for them. So I'm going to speed this part up because it's a lot. <laughs> um, so I'll check back in with you as soon as I'm done with that. Anyways, with that, I'm going to go back in to Canva. And I'm going to show you how I make this. If you forget to do this first step and you're like, oh crap, it's literally the wrong size. I'm going to show you how I fix it. So YouTube thumbnail, blink. I'm going to add in that picture. Oh, did I forget to save this? oops there it is and see how it's like not at all the size so i'm gonna like kind of bring it up and then i'm going to make the color of the background there and there you go so and then we've got some we've got some issues though going on here hold on so let's do just move it over here okay a little weird but because it's so small i'm not even gonna worry about it this is just demonstration purposes only save this i actually am like really bothered though by like the little smudges there so i'm gonna go into retouch another awesome app um and go quick repair and just brush over that yeah okay i know that was like super minuscule but it'll make me feel better so that's saved so now i'm gonna go into fonto i'm going to add a new photo this one of course I'm gonna add text what do I want that text to say I don't even know transitions let's make that I'll show you how I do the shadow so style shadow turn the alpha all the way up and then decide kind of how you want to do this just make it like very little blur so done thumbnails i'm gonna show you look how those don't match at all and that's gonna bother me so i'm gonna hit this duplicate button and i'm just gonna change this text to transitions done get rid of this one delete goodbye and then that way they match. I'm gonna switch them though because. Um, cool. So then save that. And then I don't like how there's like. I'm just gonna add some more stars because I'm crazy about stars, I guess. Um, I'm gonna open Pixar, open that one. And then I'm gonna do the stars aesthetic again. I try to stick with these stars as much as I possibly can. And then I'm just gonna add them like here for fun. Duplicates, let's go right here. Then you know the drill, we're gonna get rid of all the ones that just don't make any sense. Okay, so I'm saving that. 
So then how I'm going to put the whole thumbnail together, and this is literally just this one. Like, I, so much is going into this one because I didn't really think it through. Um, I'm going to download it, and then I'm going to put them on top of each other. So I'm going to go into Canva. I'm going to import this picture, and then I'm going to add images, this one, and I'm going to have it sit in my hand like that. I'm so not crazy about it. So I'm going to save it. Go into Fonto. Open it. And then I'm going to add how I edit. I'm just not crazy about it, guys. I'm so not crazy about it. It's option one, but I don't think that's going to happen. What I think I want to do is import that pink picture and I'm going to do um, text. I'm going to go transitions. The only thing I hate about Fonto is that there, I mean, there's a grid, but it doesn't candle like definitely lets you know when you're lining things up but I am going to go into Pixar and add the stars that's the thing guys sometimes it just doesn't work out you do one thing and you do so much work for it and then you're like oh, I don't even like that so I'm going to go in images add image transition thumbnails and then make sure it fits and then make it you know how that goes. Okay, then I'm gonna go into Pixar and make sure to grab the one that we just made that fits the sizing correctly. Okay, I'm going back into Canva. Holy cow, what a process. At least the thumbnail is like being done while I do the video. That's like, sometimes I forget to do the thumbnail and that's really tricky. So anyways, it's not usually this much of a process, but so I'm going to go into camera roll, take this picture, I'm going to add an image, and I'm going to put this one in there. And then I think what I want to do, because I definitely want to keep the Keep on Trucking font incorporated, so I'm going to like save this, and then I'm going to do how to underneath it. So I'm going to go into Fonto. This is the very last thing that I have to do. Thank goodness. So add text. How, whoa, how to font my fonts. Keep on trucking. Done. And then I always curve it. And then style, style, shadow, alpha. I like that one a lot better. I'm just hoping that you can read it as a thumbnail. I think that it makes sense though. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with it. I think that that's gonna be the winner. It's gonna take forever for that screen recording to load into my pictures because it's probably like 20 minutes long, no joke. So that's kind of a mess, but now my camera roll is like full of these. <laughs> that's it for today's video because I've already gone way over the time that I wanted to do. I'm sorry about that. I just I just go in and kind of mess around. I honestly don't usually have like a full set plan and that's kind of why I was like nervous and I put off making this video for so long because I'm like, I was like, I'm gonna get on my screen recording and I'm gonna be going all sorts of ways. Like it's just gonna be like crazy, but that's just how my life is, I guess. That's how I record videos on a whim. That's how I edit thumbnails. Yeah, that is it for today. Make sure to check out those resources, please, down below. Um, donate if you can go out you have a voice whether you think you do or not you are on social media so i'm sure you have some sort of a following please use your voice use that platform to share and spread awareness um and together i think that we can put a stop to this if you made it this far to the end thank you so much for watching i hope that this helps even though it's like kind of all over the place <laughs> but i will see you guys next time next tuesday peace out